Well, this is all getting fucked up. Isn't it? I it, I don't care. It's fine. Welcome to Underground Horror Radio. Fuck the intro. Um, so I already unboxed this once, and of course the audio, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's doing it now. It would be a nope. Looks well. Oh, is it even coming in now? Yeah. Okay. The audio wasn't very high, so you could barely hear me. Um, but since it's just like an unboxing video, it's not like um, I put hours of fucking work in, because I didn't. Um, but anyway, so last week was my birthday. Yay! Um, 37. And um, my wife, being the great wife she is, got me uh, some stuff for my birthday. And one of it was Jaws-related. Um, so Funko a while ago put out um, news that they were going to put out um, a Jaws Funko Pops, which has been missing for quite a while because I've been like, w where the fuck is the Jaws ones? Like, I was like, hello. And so I've been waiting on that. Well, finally happened. And with that, I'm like, cool. So um, I have like, aside there's five of them. Where's the back of the box? This is the glorious box it came in, right? And as you can see, there's two sharks, not the big one, two sharks and, um, of course, the three uh, main characters. So you got Brody, Matt Hooper, and Quint, uh, which is a big part of Jaws, obviously. And uh, one of the sharks has the tank in its mouth. If you Spoiler alert, Jaws gets blown up at the end. But I mean, I mean, in all honesty, seriously, seriously, it's 2019. Who the fuck hasn't seen Jaws? Like, even if you're not a horror fan, common, it's it's Jaws. It's like uh, it's you know Casablanca, every you know Blanca, who you know what I mean? Like everybody's probably seen it. Uh, so anyway, so this is him out of the box, Bruce, as they named him in the movie. Very, very cool. I love him. Look at his teeth. Ooh. What's, what's cool is if I flip it this way, you can kind of see, because there's his eyes, and there's his snout right there. So if I tip it a bit like that, you can cut all that out. It's just like the picture. I love it because he even kind of gave it the weird curves that the nose had in the drawing uh, but by the way I love the image this image the because it's a I believe it was a painting which I have this poster on my hanging up here in the office and but and I painted the same image never quite as good as this uh, with you know, on records and uh, regular, you know, canvas that I paint on. And I gave one to my dad. And it's 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 never that good, but, I, I mean, I just love it. It's, it's such a nice picture. And, uh, of course, you know, on all the trade paperbacks of the book, the original book, uh, that's what they have now. But the original uh, hardcover book was, like, black cover. It says Jaws in white, just like how it's spelled all over the movie, capital letters. And it's just the bottom like this. And it's all white. There's no eyes of just the mouth, the shark. Um, but when they did this for the movie, I mean, look at it. It's the perfect blend of blue and white in, you know, uh, coming from the deep. Anyway, obviously, usually there's a girl on top, but I, I didn't want to use that one right now. The point is, I love it. And so, th you know, being that this is probably one of the best movies ever made, uh, my top favorite, um, not just horror, but in general, Jaws is number one. To me, it is as uh, close as you can get to a perfect film. And, uh, yeah, so I absolutely love this. Um, I have the one with the tank as well, plus the other guys are on their way. I have Brody. And I will be opening that up soon. I just wanted to do a quick video, and I haven't done one in a while. I've been moving, and I've been setting up the studio, and I've been working on a lot of uh, actual radio shows for Not For Air lately. 
for Podunk Radio. Um, now that I'm in downtown, well, I'm not in downtown West Palm. I live in West Palm Beach, but I go downtown a lot more now. Um, I'll be doing more music stuff with the bands, interviews, that kind of thing. That's my plan. But it is the summer, so I will be on Twitch again, at least maybe once a week. Maybe not as much as I was doing it before, but uh, playing Friday the 13th because it is summer. Uh, Friday the 13th and other mini slasher sleepaway camp, you know, for summer is a huge thing. Just like Halloween's important in the fall, in Oct- especially around October and Halloween. And uh, that's that's the plan. Plus, I'm doing like a big review on Jaws 1 and Jaws 2. I don't know about... Uh, I want to do one with footage, but I don't know. I got to work on it. Anyway, I'm doing a huge uh, in-depth, which is something I normally don't do, uh, review of Jaws 1 and 2. And the Friday the 13th movies. Um, at least at least a couple of them. Anyway, uh, hopefully this sounds a lot better than the last one, because I'm an idiot. And uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. And then when the other figures come in and stuff for the jaws i'll open them be a vi- video on that and i got a couple other cool like freddie and jason stuff i haven't opened yet so i have a lot of cool stuff to open this summer so anyway thanks for watching you guys uh, take care of each other and bye